All right, guys, the next step is you're going to want to open your Fat Explorer. If you notice, I actually paid for this version. The first thing you want to do is we want to set up a hard disk. So once you, I've already done this, and it will show up as this, but you want to hit devices, wait for it to load. Then you click on the formatting tools here. Since we're doing an original Xbox, you want to click on this one right here, original Xbox. It's going to search and find the disk. If you have multiple hard drives, this is hooked up, hooked up with my computer with an adapter. I'll go ahead and leave a link below. But you see, this is my physical two ter you know, three terabytes, and this is the drive I'm doing. It's an Intel SSD drive. It's already currently formatted, but yours won't say this. You want to make sure you select the right drive, so I'm going to select this drive. Very, very important. This is If you're under two terabytes, you want to select this one, LBA Increasing BIOS Partition Table. Don't do anything else. Just select this. This is the right one. Just hit Next. Another thing, very important. Do not change the size. Leave this as is. Do not touch this. I changed the size, and it wouldn't boot. And I format it again without changing size and it booted just fine. One thing I'm noticing, I don't know if it's just for Intel drives or my SSD, but I would recommend just leaving all this as is. What this does is if you have enough space and your, your C drive is not going to really have more than 500, E drive is fine. It's going to put all your big files in your gaming directory, which is also known as your F drive. So this is where you're going to store all your DLCs and your other stuff. This is where, so you want this at the majority of it and it has no remaining space. Click next. Again, don't load anything here. Preload it. Hit next. We're going to do a quick format on this drive. This is an SSD, so it's going to be really fast. Your drive might take a long time. Once you're done, you hit devices. Now we want to go ahead and configure the drive to set it up. I personally like the Hanzo method. I think it's the easiest way to do it. I already have it downloaded and extract it for me. So our drive came up. It's the same drive. It's our SSD. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to load device. We want to, we want to set up the C drive and the E drive. So the C drive, I'm clicking on the C drive, mount. This is my C drive. So I have a blank C drive here, as you see. And I have my Xbox, which has all my Xbox stuff here. And so I have a brand new Xbox build here. I have a C drive. This is from the Hanzo. I'm going to go ahead and just grab everything from the C drive. I'm going to copy and paste it as my C drive. I've made a video about this before. It's very easy to do. So once we do this, the C drive is done. Done. All right. So now we go back to here. Now we're going to unmount it because we want to switch our drive. Unmount. Click it again, load device. Now we're going to do the E drive. E drive, same thing. So I'm going to do the E drive, mount. This is our E drive. I'm going to go back into my Xbox folder with the Hanzo directory. I already have this extracted. Now I want to go to my E drive. This has, I want to run uh, XBMC for gamers. It has all the apps, all that good stuff. Same thing. This is a little bit bigger. Go ahead and grab everything. Copy it over here. This is a lot bigger. I think this is like, it's like say 500 megabytes or so. So this is going to be pretty fast because it's an SSD. But this will go ahead and move all your dashboards. This is basically dashboards. You could add if you want additional stuff pre. If you want, I highly recommend loading all your games from Fat Explorer and not FTPing them over. This is just a much faster way to do it. I'm also going to show you how to load your games as well. Make sure you legally own your games. So we'll go over that as well. So we do the C drive, the E drive. Even though it says H here, I assure you this is the E drive. It just That's what the computer has available because I'm using an E drive as something else. So we'll let this finish. E drive's done. And now we're going to unmount the E drive. Back here, unmount it. Now we're going to set up our game directory. So load device, our game directory, you got to scroll down, F drive. This is, see how it's big? 230 gigs, this is your big directory. So you can always check to see what your largest directory in size. Double click this, mount, same thing, F directory. Now we're going to go back to our F directory, and I, of course I closed my Xbox because, you know, someone's just got to do it. Now we see all the stuff I'm looking at, which is great. Um, not a problem. So now we'll go back to our Xbox. Boom. My Xbox directory. And now we're going to actually just make a new folder. We're going to call it Games. It doesn't matter if it's capital or lowercase. So this is where I recommend you do, like, Games, Apps, Homebrew, yada, yada. Each dashboard looks for certain things. So, like, if you want to do a homebrew, you would make a new folder called homebrew. Homebrew. And this would pull up the homebrew if you want to do a game for demos. This would be your demos, etc. But for now, we're just going to do games. And then this is where you want to put the extracted Xbox games. For example, I have Serious Sam here. This is the first Serious Sam. It's 1.6 gigs. It has a default XB. This is all the files you need. It's fully extracted. It's not an ISO. I'm actually going to drag the whole entire Serious Sam here, just the one game, 
to my games directory. See how it's under the games directory, Siri Sam? You're going to load all the games you legally own under this directory. This is why I recommend to do this on Fat Explorer, because I'm getting 40 megs a second. If you're using FTP, you're lucky to get one, maybe two, tops. So FTP is going to take basically 40 times as slow as transferring all your games with the Fat Explorer method. So that's why I really feel you should buy Fat Explorer. It's a great program. I own it. You notice it doesn't say demo here. I paid for it. It's a, it's a great program. I highly recommend it. And so we're putting this on our large drive. And again, you'll do like Serious Sam, you know, Halo 1, Halo 2. Each game's going to have its own folder. Make sure that each game it has a default XP file. This is how the game gets the basically the artwork. So all the games are called default, even if the game's different. It's going to have this folder, but this is a default for this game, just FYI. So there. So now this has this is already ready to go. So this hard drive's ready. But since we're going to be soft modding, we want to go to our hard drive security tools. And I've already backed up the EEPROM, so I ran Rocky Five soft mod. I got the EEPROM off my Xbox. This is what's going to kind of make or break you if you're doing TSOP or Xbox. Obviously, you can't. I always do this. You've got to unmount your drive. When you're done, unmount it. I always do that. It has a folder open. That's what it's saying. So now we go to hard drive security tools. You can't have any folders open. I do this every time. It's so funny. And now you want to make sure you select your right drive. So this is going to pull. This is my hard drive. Remember, we're doing the Intel drive, guys. Whatever drive you're doing, make sure you select the correct drive. And now we want to load the EEPROM. And again, we're going to want to load my EEPROM. I already have it backed up. This I'm doing a 1.0 new EEPROM, EEPROM.bin file. So you save it to your Xbox. You're going to FTP it over or like a USB, however you want to get it. This will then lock. This will tell the hard drive like, oh, this is the exact same hard drive as this Xbox motherboard's expecting. So now that I have the same key, this will boot up. So you load, load from EEPROM. This is my EEPROM key to back it up. You can set a password if you want. It really doesn't matter. Just hit OK. Hit OK. And that's it. And now our hard drive's done. It's ready. So now we can go plug it in and boot off. That's all you have to do. Set up the C drive, E drive, a games directory. And then I can always go back and load it with more games or FTP, more games on it. That's all you have to do. So now let's go to the next step, which would be loading it up on the Xbox. But we're pretty much done.